Welcome to day 29. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, you may be asking, well, what's going on? Well, we are taking the 30 day challenge uh, to become writers about ourselves, to become our own historians, uh, to write our own story. And so for the past 28 days, we've been answering questions about our past, about our present, about our future. Now, if you want to get started with us, you can go to freshlivingstreet.com you can go to our page that says media resources and on there you will see uh, where you can download the PDF for free of our journal and you can print it out on whatever apparatus it is that you have or if you have an, uh, a blank journal you can use it as a guide write the questions down in your blank journal um, but we're helping and we want to create as many people as we can to start writing about themselves. It's not a selfish thing, but this becomes kind of like a historic record that you can leave to your children, to your, you know, it becomes, uh, many of us have gone to funerals and you see the obituary where it's just a paragraph about the person that's really even not about them, it's about who their mother was, how many children they left, about what church they joined, but you never really, have a record of this person's life. Well, I'm not gonna leave that responsibility to others. I make sure that I write down my thoughts. And this particular journal is basically a personal journal for you to start uh, enjoying yourself as to who you are and to write down your thoughts. And today is day 29. Now, you can also go to our YouTube channel uh, if you've missed the first 28 days and you'll see day one through 28. and this journal is interactive you can start it whenever you want to uh, and even if you fall off it's still going to be there for you to continue uh, until you get to day 30 for this first book that we're doing now for day 29 it says a blast from the past it says the teacher that had the biggest influence on my life now i don't know about you i love education and i love teachers and i had many teachers who were influenced but the one that uh that is brought back to my mind. Um, I was kind of born during the time when uh, segregation in and desegregation began. And, and there came a time in the 70s, the early 70s, where our family was able to move from what was considered a black neighborhood to an integrated neighborhood. And we were some of the first blacks in that neighborhood. So of course, I went from a completely black school with all black teachers. We never really saw white people uh, everybody in our world was black. And here I found myself in a situation where I was in a predominantly black white school, maybe two uh, black kids in my whole class and maybe 10 black kids in a school of maybe 700 students. But also I came with some of the disabilities uh, because I was not used to their culture. And that sixth grade was a living hell for me. I was not reading on level and uh, it was just a lot going on. But my teacher, Miss Lane, and she's probably been dead now for a thousand years, but Miss Lane was kind and she passed me uh, that uh, year. So I went from sixth grade, beginning with what we called junior high back then. But because of that act of kindness, I decided I would never have myself or be in that situation ever again where uh, educationally I would be deficient. And that summer I made up my mind that I was going to be smart and it was because of her effort because she could have failed me and so she was my biggest influence and beginning from that point on when I had in seventh grade I got my stuff together and you're talking about honor society and scholarships even up to my education of where I am today so who was your biggest influence um, you know on you uh, that was a teacher and how did they influence your life and even unto this point how did they influence it up till today my present, the person I admire most today. This can be a famous person. It can be a person whom you know, whom you just admire the way that they carry themselves and you know, choose that person. It's always good to know that there are other people who will get people who can be emulated. So go in your mind today. You may not be able to answer this right now, but think about it today. Who's a person in your life, uh, a person today that you most admire and why do you admire them? And then we have the last one. How do I want to be remembered and what am I doing to ensure this legacy? Um, it's important. Some people and some of my relatives I remember and it's not kind because they were mean. 
you know, and they seem to took great pleasure in being that way. And so that's the way that they're remembered. Uh, you know, you have to, today you write your own epitaph by your behavior. How will people perceive you when your time comes to go to the ancestral land? How will people remember you? And what can you do in your future to ensure that you have a legacy of being, re being remembered as a kind person, as a generous person, as someone who's full of wisdom? Or will people remember you as someone who's full of piss and vinegar? It's on you. Remember, we're here to learn and we're here to understand. And join me tomorrow for, for day 30, which would be our last day um, of, of writing our journals. Be well. Mm -hmm.